I'm going to work on doing the turbo manifold. Um, so this guy is going to sit here somewhere. This collector might be too tall, but I'm just going to try to work with it and see what I can do. Um, I think I'm going to notch out um, this seam right here. And then you can knock it down. There's a lip here. Alright, I'll get going on that. Okay, so I notched the body here and here. I got some metal rod and I'm gonna weld it between the exhaust manifold and then the, the T25 flange. That'll hopefully lock um, the location between the two. And then I can start working on the piping and get it all kind of figured out and routed the way I need to. Okay. Here's my mock-up. This should hold everything in place. And then I will figure out all the other piping to, uh, to work for it. Okay, I got the first runner done. Looks okay. It took forever because I don't have proper equipment and lots of fine grinding I'm trying to do with my angle grinder. Anyway, I'll keep working on the other three, and hopefully it'll turn out somewhat okay. So I'm gonna record one runner. It's a lot of cutting and grinding because I don't have all the tools for it. So it's a lot of fixing cuts and trying to make it work. So I'm just gonna record this one and then you can get the gist of what the rest of it is. This is why you're not supposed to use one of these to cut metal. I was trying to hold this guy down and it let go. And this thing spun like a top. You can see where it chewed the shit out of it. Kind of scary. I'll just have to cut smaller pieces by hand, I guess, or with an angle grinder. Thank you. 
second runner all done. Tack welded. Um, gonna run this one to here and this guy to there. And I'm trying to make it e equal length, but this one's gonna be really short, so I might extend it up just a little bit to give it more equal to the rest of them. So we'll see how that plays out. All four runners are tack welded. I'm going to obviously have to weld everything in. It's going to be kind of a puzzle to figure out what pieces I need to take out and other pieces I need to weld first, probably like this guy. And I think this is going to be a priority, all these little cuts right here. So I'll probably pop this guy out of the way. Um, so yeah, I'll get started. It's taken me about half the time welding this to kind of figure out how to do better welds as opposed to that. So half of it will look eh, another half will look really bad, but hopefully it all stays together. Alright, so I messed up, which sucks because I thought it was almost done, and it's a little frustrating, um, so I'll show you what it is. I you see how all these runners have a little straight, well that's a longer radius, but straight piece, longer radius, straight piece-ish, and how this one's so close. I messed up. Let me put this down. That hits. Which sucks. Why I didn't test fit this? When I had it all tack welded was stupid and I think I got a little excited to just start welding crappy welds. Um, so I, the plan is to hopefully take out this section here and extend it down here somehow. But I gotta grind all that away and cut that out which is gonna suck and it's gonna take a while but I don't obviously want to start completely from start so yeah I'm gonna have to work on that I got, I got it out, grinded and cut. I'm gonna try to get, there's a piece in there. I'm gonna try to get out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to save this piece, use it. I don't know if I'll be able to, 
um, and see if I can, well, that may answer my question. There's not a whole lot more extra room in there. Uh, but see if I can grind away some of this and, and maybe put a centerpiece in here if I could a little bit more. I got everything finally grinded down. Pretty, pretty much where it was at. Um, the side of the pipe is a little shorter than it was before. Got everything grinded down. So now I just gotta reconnect everything with this guy here and hopefully that will give me enough room. I don't need that much space, but I think this this will do. So we'll see how that goes. So it clears. I checked it before, welded everything, and we have space here. We're not hitting the bolts are snug and I think we're good to go. So I'll have to weld up. I got a couple more welds on here and then weld up this guy. Took me all day to grind all that metal and get it all situated, but I think it will be good. Hey. Okay, uh, recap on kind of what I did and whether I liked it or not. Um, it was fun. I like making things. Um, I like welding. I don't know if I would ever do it as a job, um, but I kind of like planning things and kind of problem solving. Uh, the manifold is done. So that's cool. Everything's welded. Um, it was kind of a pain to do, but I liked it. Um, I would like to do a stainless steel uh, exhaust manifold eventually. Um, I would like to get a TIG welder um, because those welds look prettier and they're supposed to be a little bit stronger and manageable. Um, I think next time I do this, I cut the merge collector at 15 degrees. I think 20 would have made it um, the collector to be a little wider, which will allow me to weld easier inside here. And I think it would have made it a little bit more squattier. Um, so definitely next time I would love to have a TIG welder and I would like a, um, like a horizontal bandsaw to cut the metal, uh, the metal pipes and stuff because the janky miter saw setup thing is kind of dangerous and a piece like take off and spin and it spun for like a minute so uh kind of scary um but i still have my fingers which is good um so i definitely do this again i would like to do stainless steel now that i have practice and like i said i would like a tig welder and practice tig welding before welding because I hadn't really welded for like two or three years so my welds at the end definitely came out better than when I first started doing this um, but yeah I would, I would do it again um, I guess next steps would be get the, the manifold mounted get my turbo mounted and then figure out the water lines and the oil lines and then after that I need to make a downpipe and then figure out what I'm going to do for the intake. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a uh, intercooler yet. I think I want to get everything put together, kind of mess with that, make sure everything's running good, and then get an intercooler and bump up boost and whatnot. I'm eventually going to do a clutch too for sure. So thank you for watching. Uh, I kind of like doing YouTube and editing and stuff, so we'll see how long I'll do it. I'll probably just do it until I'm bored of doing it and then stop or maybe i'll keep going and i love it i don't know so uh thank you for watching uh hopefully it'll be another video after this all right bye